Hello, Shalom. Yeah. My name is Lev, and as Polona said before, yeah. we are coming from Slovenia, from the city of Ljubljana. So, um, yes, today we met, we went for coffee, me and my friends. We are getting ready for Hanukkah, and uh, we want to show you an old tradition that is coming from Slovenia and is being used for Hanukkah. This is Chris. He's a proud father of a seven month year old Lila. <laughs> Very cute. Um, so, I want to show you a tradition that is coming from 14th century, I don't know, I'm sure, uh, from the city of Maribor. Uh, it's a unique way of lighting the yeah? And uh, as soon as we are finished with coffee, we will show you. Iserlein followed this custom, but uh, it's not his, it's Maribor custom. It's written in literature that in Maribor they used to light the candles, of course, like everybody else, from the east to the west, but in Maribor they had this habit of lighting it from north to south, actually. So it's not only to light it the way we write, but also from north to south. So basically this Hanukkiah is not good for this lightning. It should be Hanukkiah that you just turn around. So basically, the Maribor way of lighting candles would be like this. So we start here, we light of course the, you know, the servant candle, and then we start from here. That's the whole point of uh, Maribor candling, lighting the candles basically. But uh, there's also a question, of these Jews, medieval Jews from Maribor in Trieste, how long did they follow this custom? Uh, at the moment, only we in Slovenia are following this custom. Yes. Uh, but uh, if somebody is interested where to find uh, the Simuchim for this lightning, uh, he can find it in Tormat Adeshen and in Leket Yosha. It's written there how and why is it lit like that. Yes. So that much about the uh, Slovenian lighting uh, of Hanukkah. So I hope you learned something new. Hope to see you soon. And until then. Shalom, shalom.